All right, Pokemon fans. We have a little, very, very short stream for us today real quick. I just wanted to get to show some stuff off before I send that into PSA and open this fantastic Pokemon Forest mystery pack out from the Pokemon Forest Facebook page. Check it out on YouTube. I'll uh, go ahead and link it in the description. Yeah, Felix, what's going on? How's it going, man? It's been a while, but of course, also Yu-Gi-Oh fans, we do have some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff going in as well, so that's going to be very exciting. But I also am currently in a giant event right now for some crazy Pokemon stuff, so, you know, I might freak out if we win there. I really doubt it. It'll be crazy. It's worth like $2,000 worth of uh, Pokemon cards, but fingers crossed, could be insane. I'm going to turn down the music a little bit more for us. All right, that should be good. I feel like that should be about right. But before we open up the mystery pack for us from the Facebook group, we're gonna go ahead and go through the PSA submission for us. A lot of really cool stuff for us. Starting off, we have the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Dragoon, Beautiful card, looks really good. Centering pretty clean on it. I was shocked uh, how much this card is actually going up right now. PSA 10, it was kind of a... Uh, very, very surprising. I want to say it was about $150, $200 last time I checked, but cards like this are just so cool to have graded. The art's beautiful. Fingers crossed there, but we got a couple other older uh, cards as well. Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Some of you might remember this. Very, very old. This is back with the movie packs. Let's get that focus real quick on here. Come on. Maybe, maybe not. See if it'll focus from uh the autofocus sometimes is wonderful, but sometimes it kills me as well. There we go. Blue eyes shining dragon. I've had this one in the next couple top loaded for quite some time now. So um, the reason I'm saying this one in it's a pretty cheap card, to be honest. That's um on the inside, that's actually not on the card, thankfully. It's a pretty cheap card, about um I want to say twenty dollars, but PSA ten, it's insane. PSA 10 goes for about four or five hundred dollars. Felix said, sent for my cards in two. Hope everything is going well. Yeah, man, everything is going really well. I'm trying to stream a little bit more. And uh, is this okay? Sorry, I just checked out the event for us real quick. But yeah, it's going well, man. Just trying to stream a little bit more for us. It's uh, it's been a good week. I just want to try to like push myself to stream more and more. But Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon is the next one we have on here. This is also one of the movie packs. And it, hey, Felix, if you don't mind, is the uh, is the music too loud? If I should turn it down, let me know. But I have two of the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Again, all my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, I kept in hard sleeve, hard boxes for my entire life. So, hoping these come back uh, nine, 10, Blows me away. I think this one just went for something close to like seven, eight hundred dollars. Oh, it is okay. Awesome. Thanks, Felix. I appreciate it. So, again, fingers crossed. We got two of them, both relatively the same condition. I just need to make sure I don't uh, move the cards around too much. Now we're gonna go on and move over to the Pokemon submissions. We have this wonderful Sabrina's Gengar that I got from a very, very good friend in the uh, Pokemon Forest group. This card is just insane. A little swirl right behind the head, too. Really, really nice. Probably going to be something closer, like a PSA 7 or 8. Got a lot of whitening. Would love to see you stream more. You know, you can count on me. Hey, man, I, I appreciate it. I um, My goal right now, because as you know, Felix, I stream like once a week. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping I can get it to like two, three times a week pretty consistently. I was streaming yesterday for like three hours, just playing some Valorant, hanging out a little bit with buddies. But uh, let's get a little focus on this one again. L you know, little whitening on the top. You know, realistically, probably PSA 7, I would guess. C you know, could be, could be an 8. That'd be awesome. An 8 comes back as like $200. And then we got this Charizard. XY Evolutions 2016 Charizard. Oof. This thing is pretty. Slightly off-centered. Very minimal off-centered from top to bottom. The the left and right is pretty good, though. This is, again, probably going to be a PSA 9. Maybe an 8. Could be an 8. Just uh, really comes down to how forgiving they'll be on that, um, on that centering there. Yeah, Felix, but how's your week going, man? You doing well? 
hopefully uh, enjoying the winter if that's possible for some people. Got this Blastoise as well. Got a little bit of a hollow bleed on him on the left side. Let's see if we can get it focused. Come on. Maybe, maybe not. All right, but this one's really cool because there's a little bit of a hollow bleed on the left side of it here. Another cool card I got from a uh, friend in the group, Josh again. Got this Pokemon, the Pokemon Grand Prix, I think it's called like on PSA, but this Illustrator Charizard, very beautiful art. This one's going up a lot in price. I wasn't really gonna send it in until I saw how crazy the PSA 10 for it is right now. This is my own personal collection card. I'm gonna be sending in a nice little Ampharos Hollow. I haven't even really checked this one for any swirls actually. Really pretty though. Had to work pretty much this week and the temperatures here are so low that my car is froze. So yeah, besides that I'm good, thanks for- Yeah, hey, no worries man. Yeah, I, I get it though. I mean, it's been like negative five here almost all week. So we'll, uh, we'll hopefully you know see some warm weather in the next two, three months, fingers crossed. Got a good old magnesium, magnanium, meganium. I, I'll always call this Pokemon magnesium. Nice uh, shatter foil on this one. This one's really good condition. It always throws me off that the the border is actually supposed to be kind of faded white. But this one, PSA 9, PSA 10. Again, my buddy Josh. Uh, how's it going, Mark? Uh, which card? Which card did you want to see? These are the ones we've gone through so far. Honestly, I think this next one. Uh, I'm sending in 30 cards to the submission. Right now, I want to say I have about 80, 90 cards uh, Fahrenheit. It's like negative 5 Fahrenheit right now. I don't know what that is Celsius. Maybe like, what, negative 25-ish, maybe. Uh, sending in 30, though. This next one, though, I'm so excited. Now, almost all these cards are just from uh, Josh. Great guy. Great guy. One of the nicest people I've ever met. My shadowless first edition Diglett I got from him. He uh, he did me well, he did me really well. This one's beautiful. Centering, pretty clean. Pretty clean on the centering. A little bit of whitening. A little bit of whitening at the bottom, but everything else, pretty pristine on that one. Um, let's see. This music though, this music uh, is jamming. Got a bunch of amazing rares. We'll go ahead and go through here in just a moment. Same as Zenta. Pretty solid, pretty pretty nice. These cards are going up so much in value right now. They're like 150 to 300 dollars, depending on which one. She's trying to stop complaining. <laughs> uh, how cold is it there for you right now? Is it like uh, in the negatives for Celsius right now? Nice, uh, Ziggy on amazing rare. We got two Raikus coming up. Beautiful, beautiful cards. I'm hoping for like one, maybe two of these to come back, uh, PSA 10s out of all the amazing rares. I wouldn't be shocked. I feel like these are kind of easy to get 10s with, you know, they're new cards. No whitening on any of these. All pretty good. I just love this art. It's so freaking cute and the amazing rare splash around the outside is so incredible. We have an average of 5 Fahrenheit. That, that's only 10 degrees off, man. I mean, I think right now it's like one degree Fahrenheit. So, I mean, it's pretty pretty similar. And then for, for the for the hype of the card right now, I'm sending in this Pikachu Hollow. I bought three packs the other day at McDonald's and got lucky enough to pull one of these. Super, super cute card. It's going for like 70 to to $100 raw at the moment. So, we'll, um, we'll hope. We'll hope we get something nuts with it. My buddy Keith, though. My buddy Keith. Oh. Thank goodness he's not hanging out with us right now. And also it's top loaded, so I don't have to actually worry about it. But I'm so sorry, Keith, if you ever see this. I just chucked his Shining Mew down. Uh, but sending in his Shining Mew. Let's get this a nice little focus. Here we go. The foil on this is just gorgeous. The, the, the foil, the hollow is just the art itself of Mew. It's so cool. Love this one so much. I, I really am hoping he gets a nine or a 10 on that card. It looks really, really clean. Let's go ahead and get a, check out the back as well. 
Yeah. It's nice. Really nice card. He got a great deal for it, like $75, I want to say. Uh, also, we have a giveaway course going on. If you're uh, new to the channel, if you drop a follow, you have a chance of winning a Phantom Rage Yu-Gi-Oh! booster box. And also, I don't want to give anything away right now too much, but next week we do have a Pokemon giveaway going on. Very, very small, single card, something we recently pulled. But we're giving that away on stream next week during the Shining Fates event. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be so much fun. All you got to do is just, you know, you're following the channel. You're hanging out that day. We will uh, give it away live. And I'll send that out probably the next day. Got the Shifter GX. Another one of my personal collection cards. That's me. That's my name. Uh, so, again, you know, I'm, I'm hoping... Hoping to get some nice grades on my personal collection stuff. A lot of the stuff, I'll be honest, I'm probably going to be selling just because the value of it is so much higher than my personal worth to it. And, you know, that means I get to just keep opening stuff. So, this one probably about a PSA 9, maybe an 8. The centering is kind of poor on it, to be honest. Got a few more cards to go through. Hey, thanks, Felix. I appreciate it, man. But yeah, we have a huge event. We have, um, like, probably anywhere from... 6 to 12 streamers, we're all doing a big event together for the uh, new Pokemon set coming out next uh, next week, Shining Fates, I'm so excited this Galarian Ops dude and I pulled last week, very very nice centering on this one will be nice, I just love sending in all my secrets to get graded and all the gold cards they're just, they're so cool and I don't know what it is, but when something is graded by PSA it just makes it look so clean, like yeah, I don't care what the grading is, but just the uh the casing of PSA is fantastic. This one I pulled out of a uh, Michael's pack the other day. Thankfully, uh, no whitening on it. That little speck at the top's just in the uh, in the card sleeve, sadly. But the centering is a little off on this one. A little, little left to right, it looks like. Also, slightly type top to bottom. But would be cool. Really, uh, really neat card that we got there. We got two of these. Funny enough, I... Um, Bought a Fates Collide pack the other day. I bought like two of them. Pulled this one right out of the pack. Thank you, Walgreens. This is probably my favorite Alakazam card. The cool little uh, Umbreon jumping in the background. Even can't really see it in the uh, camera, but the eye of Umbreon is also hollow, which is so cool how they did that on the art here. Absolutely gorgeous. We have another one. Let's go ahead and quickly show it off here for us. I'll probably keep one of those for my personal collection. If one comes back at 9, one comes back at 10, I'll probably sell the 10, keep the 9. But Ampharos V, another personal collection card. I'm really hoping 9 or 10 here. No whitening. Centering tad off ever, ever so slightly. But again, really cool card. Ampharos, one of my favorite Pokemon. Probably my favorite electric Pokemon. Speaking of electric Pokemon, though. Let's see, Felix. I've never seen an Umbreon hanging out with an Alakazam. <laughs> It's such a cool card, man. It really is. And then Felix, I pulled this card last week. PSA 10 right now. This card's going for $1,500 at a PSA 10. Just sold yesterday for $1,500. This one's nice, though. It's pretty nice. Little OC, I think. Little, little bit. I don't know. The more I look at this card, I really don't know if it is off-centered. Left to right, maybe a little. Just a little bit. A little left to right. No, actually, whitening on the card itself. Done uh, plenty of inspections. <sighs> um, if you want, uh, Felix, just check out the YouTube video. It's short, like 17 minutes instead of the hour and a half VOD. Pulled this this cute little fat boy as well. This is just the uh, non-Rainbow version of him. I pulled two of these, actually, in the video. Yeah, uh, I so we actually posted on the main channel of our YouTube, it's uh, The Nerd Chambers. We kind of just post all of our stuff there, and I'm actually starting to post all my VODs on my main YouTube channel for uh, TNC Penguin. So, you know, hey, if you want to go drop a follow, I appreciate it. Hey, if you have any videos on there, I'll love to check your stuff out as well, Felix. You know, anytime. You've been, you've been supporting since day one. Yeah, thanks, man. And then the my absolute favorite card I'm ever going to have, the Shuffle, Shuckle GX Secret. This is the card I'm so excited for. I really want this to be a 10. The, the, the main guy in the group I just talked to, Josh, he really thinks this could be a 10. 
He loves the quality of this card. If this comes back as a 10, that's my dream. Like everyone out there, you know, you want a base set, first edition Charizard, PSA 10, but I'll be honest, value exclude like taking out any value that is the card i want more than anything into psa 10 i am absolutely stoked to get that back graded just for the just for the funsies real quick i guess i'll show off my uh, my baby shiny collection since i have completed it i'm still waiting on two of my cards to get here two or three but just got everything organized the other day Got the whole collection almost. Just need my Charmeleon that'll come in on Saturday. Got my Whooper finally. I don't know if I'll ever get any of these graded. I kind of like having these raw. Go ahead and put some of these down though. Yeah, love the baby shinies though. Such a cute collection. Sudowoodo. The Riolu and Lucario in here is just perfect. Th those are probably my favorite too out of the baby shinies. Oh, you know my Eevee will be here soon too. Garchomp, my little golden nuggy. I think that was actually my first uh, baby shiny. Wanted in a, um, wanted in a little event. It was super cool, super super cool. But that's it for the uh, the baby shinies for right now. We're gonna try to complete that collection. Shining Fates comes out next week, and we have a lot more to do. But here it is: the Pokemon Forest Mystery Pack. Forty-two cards are inside this mystery pack. Again. If you haven't, check out the Pokemon Forest Facebook page. Super cool people over there. You know, you'll see a lot of cool collections, uh, meet a lot of great people. I want to open this without damaging it if I can. So, might be a minute or two. I'm going to try to delicately open this. So, in these packs, there's actually um, two slips in here that one gives you a gem mint 10 charizard and then the other one gives you a free art from uh, uh the guy who makes it steven i think it's his wife maybe his girlfriend but either or steven thank you so much man i'm actually watching your video right now if you do check this out watching the um the pika slabs right now fingers crossed i can win uh almost two thousand dollars worth of uh, pikachus would be insane Okay, here we go. We got it pretty delicately. Again, I really don't want to damage the packaging here. It's so cool. This is such a great idea, Steven. Uh, thank you so much for doing this again. I, I cannot explain it enough how excited I am for these. I even messaged you the other day for how excited I was. All right. We got them open. Starting off with a fire energy. Maybe, maybe a message there. Maybe we'll get the Zard. We'll see. Again, trying to do this without destroying anything if possible. <sighs> Street Labs, just killing it with the music today. All right, here we go. I really don't know what comes in here. Just a bunch of like really cool random stuff. All right. We have a, wow, base set two. Fire energy, I didn't even realize that at first. That's pretty neat. Got an old trainer card. Oh, a jungle Rhyhorn. Misty's Horsey, you got a coughing and Ekans. Wow, it's cool seeing fossil and, you know, OG cards in here as well. Magnemite, Sandshrew, Machop, Diglett. Go ahead and get this a little closer for us. Diglett, Fletchinder, Pokemon Breeders Nurturing, oh, Litten, Golbat, Dragonair, Poliwhirl, Taurus, Nubble, got a Marie, Carvanine, Cape of Toughness, Toucan. I guess here's where the hollows start. Got a nice hollow Pinkerton, Blitzel, oh, got the full arts back there. Joltik, Scorched. oh, that Blaziken's really neat. Waylord, Hattern, Hollow Charmander's Clean, Marnie, Charmeleon, that Hollow Zapdos. There we go. 
Hat to me again, Victini, Drillaber, Professor's Research. And now time for the, let's see, the Vs, the Full Arts, if there's anything like that. Grimmsnarl V, Dreadnought V, and then a Break card. Oh, Lugia Break, that's really cool. That Lugia Break's really neat. All right, I'll go ahead and show that one off for us real quick. This was cool. It, it was really cheap, little uh, little fun thing he was doing. As I said, there was a couple like big hitters in there too. But hey, that's awesome. Again, I'm I'm happy I didn't completely destroy the pack. But I'll probably keep that. Maybe you know, put it in a little collection box or something. I'm sure he'll do more of these eventually. But Pokemon Forest again. Check him out on Facebook. Super cool group. A lot of fun. There's 2,100 members. But that's gonna do it for us today. That was a lot of fun. Again, thank you so much, Felix, for coming to hang out with us today. Anyone who is checking out the VOD later, the YouTube video, I'm going to just throw this up on YouTube since it's uh, pretty short. I think, yeah, 28 minutes. So, again, thank you, everyone, so much. We do have the huge event coming next week for Shining Fates. It's going to be insane. We have so much stuff coming in. If everything works out, I'm going to be opening three, five, a thousand dollars with the product next week. I'm so excited. It's going to be insane. Thank you again so much for everyone who came and hung out tonight. I will see you guys next week, or I'm sure I'll see you in the next couple of days when I come back streaming again. So again, bye-bye.